the cast lab is not an operating room uh, it's uh, basically we do here coronary and geography we do pacemaker and defibrillator implantation Uh, dress comfortably. Uh, we tell our patient to bring an overnight bag and always we tell them bring a driver because in general when they leave the hospital on the day of the procedure or the next day they need a driver to drive them home. We tell our patients to hold their diabetic medicine on the day of the procedure there is a diabetic medicine called metformin. It is very important to hold that medicine the day prior to the procedure and the day of the procedure and the day after because of the dye and the kidney interaction with that medicine. We tell patients not to take their diuretics on the day of the procedure and we tell them to hold Coumadin or any blood thinner four days before the procedure and we always tell our patient to take their aspirin on the day of the procedure. The process starts in the holding area where patients come in the morning of the procedure. They are greeted by a nurse and initially they come into a room like this where an IV is started. They get 12 lead EKG on the patients, go with them over the list of medicine, talk to them about the procedure, show them a video about the procedure and answer any question or concern and before the procedure they meet the family and the procedure starts in the cast lab after that. If they have more concern um, the nurse will call the physician, the physician come to the room explain to them more about the procedure, what they anticipate on the procedure room and go from there. Uh, patients during the procedure are not completely sedated. They are awake during the procedure, and uh, but they are comfortable during the procedure. And in general, this is what the cast lab table is. This is where the patient uh, procedure is performed. Four people. Well, the physician, the assistant, and there is a person called the circulator who obtain the equipment that we need and one person behind the door records what, we've, what we are doing during the procedure. This procedure is uh, number one procedure performed in the world. In the United States, we perform almost one million procedures across the country. And there are almost 250,000 stents inserted yearly in the United States.